What's up everybody, it's your girl Fire here and today we in the kitchen making some smoked turkey leg collard greens, okay? So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so you know and your grandmother knows that with any pot of greens that you make, you have to prepare them. Um, depending on where you get your collard greens from, I get mine fresh, so they're still in the elastic band and they're in a bundle when I buy them. You could get them pre-cut and pre-prepared um, for you, but less handling is better, so I just get them fresh. But what you want to do is just de-stem the leaves and cut them into bite-sized pieces. And then what I like to do is just throw them into a clean sink and rinse them all off to make sure that there is no bugs, no dirt, no um, debris, whatever the fact. I just like to make sure that it's clean. Now for this recipe, you are going to need some smoked turkey legs, um, you could use ham hocks. My grandma used ham hocks, but I feel like that is too fattening. Um, <laughs> some apple cider vinegar, of course, just for a little tang and to cut through the, the richness of the greens. I have here half an onion, and you wanna dice that up. It doesn't matter how you dice it, just kinda, you know, julienne it and throw it in a pot. You have two things of chicken broth. You don't need to use chicken broth, but I feel like it brings more flavor into the greens. And then um, some garlic. I had some pre-chopped garlic. I usually cut it up myself, but that was easier. Some liquid smoke. This is optional, but this gives really good flavor, that extra smokiness. And um, I have here some seasoned salt. This is a Black Home's favorite thing. I swear it is. And some red pepper, this is optional, but I like my greens with a little bit of spice. So um, greens takes up a lot of space, so you wanna use a nice big pot that you know um, is really good for this kind of stuff. And put six cups of water in there, depending on how much you know collard greens you're making, of course. And then throw in your chicken broth with that along with the smoked turkey leg um, the reason why I do this is because I want the broth to be as flavorful and potent as possible and at the same time when you boil the turkey legs first you soften up the meat enough so you can cut it and yeah you throw it in after but after 20 to 30 minutes you you know you bring the water to a boil and then you want to cut up your turkey meat and prepare all your other vegetables like the onion and the garlic and throw that in there and at this time you can throw in your liquid smoke too um the bones you could give that away to your dog or you could save it for a rainy day whatever you want to do with it but i suggest that you keep it until we're done with the greens and i'll show you um coming up Now, at this time, you can um, add your greens. Make sure that the water is covering it, and um, you can add your bones in there. Now, the bones still have a lot of smokiness and a lot of flavor, so that's why I add it in there. And I leave it in there for another 20 minutes, and then after 20 minutes, I add in the seasoning. The reason why we're doing it in a layering process is because we want all of the flavors to marinate nicely if we just throw everything together and throw the seasonings on you know later on it may be too salty so we're doing it in layers and then after 45 minutes your green should be nicely wilted and nicely tender and you could eat it so yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was very easy and very understandable for you guys um, it is very good with barbecue. It is very good with some like fried fish or some fried pork chops if you guys like that. Um, mac and cheese definitely, but 
This greens was very flavorful. It was very tender and it was very, very good. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.